this is the eighth video on physics quiz and here we'll be talking about the properties of matter. It is a part of 25 part video series wherein we'll be discussing the basic fundamentals and concepts relating to various physical phenomena, famous scientists and other frequently asked questions in various exams. You will find these videos besides the respective GK Today quiz under physics quiz section. Link is always in the description. If you have any doubts, feel free to ask them in the comment section. So let's quickly get on with it. Which of the following is incorrect about the interatomic and intermolecular forces? Correct answer is D. None of the above. Whenever you compare these two forces, there are few fundamental principles. Both interatomic and intermolecular forces are electrical in origin. Both are active over short distances. General shape of force distance graph, that is if you plot force on one side and distance on the other, for both the forces is similar. Both the forces are attractive up to a certain distance between either atoms or molecules and become repulsive when the distance between them becomes less than that value. Which of the following states of matter has the weakest intermolecular forces? This must be a really easy question. Answer is C. Gases. But we need to understand here that the three states of matter varies from each other due to the following factors. First one is the different magnitude of the interatomic and intermolecular forces. The extent of a random thermal motion of atoms and molecules of a substance, which also depends on the temperature as well. And then the intermolecular forces is strongest in solids and weakest in gases. So these are the fundamental characteristics. Which of these states of matter has the maximum density? Again, this is a very easy question. Answer is A. Solids. In which of the following states of matter the interatomic or intermolecular distance is fixed? Answer is A. Solids. The interatomic or intermolecular distance is fixed in case of solid, but in case of liquids and gases, it is not fixed. Which of the following relations between kinetic energy and potential energy is true about solids? Correct answer is D. Kinetic energy is less than potential energy. Now this is a very important question frequently asked in various exams. In solids, the kinetic energy is always less than the potential energy. But for liquids, kinetic energy is greater than its potential energy. And for gases, kinetic energy is much much greater than its potential energy. What is the fourth state of matter called as? Answer is D. Plasma. In plasma, the medium is in the form of positive and negative ions. Plasma occurs in the atmosphere of stars, including even the sun, and in discharge of tubes. What is the property of matter by which a body tends to regain its original configuration after the removal of deforming force is known as? Correct answer is C. Elasticity. And exactly opposite is the plasticity. It is that property of matter by virtue of which it does not regain its original shape and size after the removal of deforming force. What is the body called which does not have any tendency to recover its original configuration on the removal of deforming force? Correct answer is perfectly plastic. Paraffin wax, wet clay can be said to be the closest examples of the perfectly plastic body. What is the ratio of change in configuration to the original configuration called as? Correct answer is strain. There are basically three types, linear, volumetric and shearing. Which of the following is the unit of strain? Correct answer is D, none of the above. As we have seen in the previous question, strain is a ratio of two like quantities. Hence, it has no dimensions and units. Strain is equal to change in configuration upon original configuration. Which of the following strains is produced in a body if the deforming force produces a change in the shape of the body without changing its volume? Correct answer is C, shearing. Shearing is also called as shearing strain. This shearing strain always remember is defined as angle in radians through which a plane which is perpendicular to the fixed surface of the cubical body gets turned under the influence of tangential force. What is the name given to the linear strain produced in the direction of deforming force? Correct answer is longitudinal strain. So if the deforming force produces a change in length alone, the strain produced in the body is called as linear strain or sometimes also called as tensile strain. And if this linear strain is in the direction of deforming forces, always remember it is called as longitudinal strain. And if it is in a direction perpendicular to force, it is called as lateral strain. What is the internal restoring force acting per unit area of cross section of the deformed body called as? Correct answer is stress. Stress is the internal restoring force acting per unit area of cross section of the deformed body. And stress is given by 
force upon area. What is the unit of stress? We have already seen in previous question, it is force upon area. So the answer will be A, Newton per meter square. That is, if it is, would be in SI. If it is in CGS unit, it would be dyne per centimeter square. What is the dimensional formula of stress? Correct answer is D, M1, L minus 1, T minus 2. Why? Because stress is defined as an external force per unit area on a body that tends to cause it to deform. Which of the following statement is correct? Correct answer is longitudinal stress occurs only in solids. It comes in picture only when one of the three dimensions that is length, breadth, height is much greater than the other two. Hence, it only occurs in solids. What is the stress known as when there is a relative displacement between various layers of solid? Correct answer is A. Tangial. So when successive layers of solid move on each other, that is when there is a relative displacement between various layers of solids, the stress produced is called as tangential stress. Which of the following statements represents Hooke's law? Correct answer is A. Stress is directly proportional to strain. According to this law, within the elastic limit, stress is directly proportional to the strain. Therefore, stress upon strain is equal to constant and is known as modulus of elasticity. Which of the following factors do not affect the value of modulus of elasticity of a body? Correct answer is length and volume of the body. Modulus of elasticity depends upon the nature of material and the manner in which the body is deformed. It also depends on temperature of the body but is independent of the dimension like length, volume, etc. of the body. What is Young's modulus? So Young's modulus is defined as the ratio of normal stress to longitudinal strain within the limit of proportionality. That is, y is equal to normal stress upon longitudinal strain. What is the force that is required to produce unit elongation in a wire known as? Correct answer is force constant. So force constant of a material of wire is the force required to produce unit elongation in a wire. It is denoted by K and K is equal to F upon I or K is equal to YA upon I. What do we call the strain produced in a body when the deforming force produces a change in its shape without changing its volume? Correct answer is shearing strain. So when the deforming force produces a change in the shape of the body without changing its volume, the strain produced is called as shearing strain. In which form is the work done in stretching a wire stored as? Correct answer is B. Potential energy. In stretching a wire, work is done against internal restoring forces. This work is stored in the wire as elastic potential energy. It is also known as strain energy. What is the maximum stress after which the wire breaks called as? Correct answer is tensile strength. So the maximum stress after which the wire begins to flow and breaks is called breaking stress or tensile strength. The force by application of which the wire breaks is called as the breaking force. On which of the following factors the breaking stress depends on? Correct answer is nature of the material. Breaking force is equal to P into A. Here P is a constant of proportionality and known as the breaking stress. Breaking stress is constant for a given material and does not depend upon the dimensions again. That is length or the thickness of the wire. What will happen if a wire of length L is cut into two or more parts? Correct answer is each part can hold the same weight as full length wire. You might ask why? It is because since the breaking force is independent of the length of the wire as we have seen in the previous question. What is the ratio of normal stress to the volumetric strain within the elastic limit known as? Correct answer is bulk modulus. So the ratio of normal stress to the volumetric strain within the elastic limits is called as bulk modulus and it is denoted by K. What is the order of distance of interatomic forces to be active? Correct answer is 10 raised to minus 10 meter. So the forces between the atoms because of the electrostatic interaction between the charges of the atom are called as interatomic forces. These forces are active if the distance between the two atoms is of the order of atomic size that is 10 raised to minus 10 meter. These forces are electrical in nature as we have seen in our first question. What is the equilibrium distance for hydrogen atoms? Correct answer is C 0.74 Armstrong. When the interatomic forces between the two atoms is zero, the distance between them is called as normal or equilibrium distance. 
what is the order of distance for van der Waal forces to be active? Correct answer is 10 raised to minus 9 meter. So we have already seen that the forces between the molecules because of the electrostatic interaction between the charges of the molecules is called as intermolecular forces. These forces are called as van der Waal forces. They are quite weak as compared to interatomic forces. These forces are also electrical in nature. They are active if the separation between the two molecules is of the order of molecular size that is 10 raised to minus 9 meter. If you have any doubts, feel free to comment. Thank you and see you in the next one.